Hello gorgeous people, how are you? Today I'm talking about fear. Fear. And I'm talking about excitement and how we're moving from one and going to another. I'll tell you all about it on the other side. So I'm not the only one who's saying this, I'm sure. But I'm very aware that the world appears to be going crazy. Okay, a little bit crazy on the going mad pathway. And one of the reasons for that is because I'm aware that the baddies, uh, those dirty, low-life, stinking monkey bastards, they are shitting themselves. And they're shitting themselves because they know they only have a short period of time left. It's like there's a race for the winning line at the moment. This is the sense I get. Us, the goodies, and we're kind of just sailing along. We're just sailing along toward the finish line. It's like it's coming. In fact, the finish line is being brought toward us. The buddies are like running through treacle, desperately trying to get to the finish line before we do. It's never going to happen. It can't happen. But that doesn't stop them from trying. They're giving it their best. So what are they doing? Well, this is the situation that I see. Like, you know, we know that they use our media, our, like, um, conspiracy media, to give us all the messages that they want to give us to make us scared so that we don't create. Yeah. So that's what they're doing. And, and like, at the moment, I don't know how you feel, but it's going crazy. It's like fear after fear after fear after fear. Okay, loads in loads of different ways. That's usual. But I think what they're doing, what they're doing is this. What I mean, this is why I was told by the emissaries. They've compressed what was effectively a plan up to 2050. And they've compressed it into the last four years. Like, or probably a bit longer than that. But they've compressed this plan. Why have they done that? They've done that because uh, they haven't got another plan. The, and this is the this is the, the bottom line. Like you can imagine a meeting. Imagine a meeting with the baddies. They're all getting oh fucking hell. It's all getting. I, 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 they keep waking up. We keep, everything we do. They just keep waking up. What we're gonna do? And somebody goes, well, I suggest that we bring the plan forward. They go what? Do more. But everything that we do wakes people up. Yes, but I think we should still bring the plan forward. Does anyone have any better ideas, the chairman might ask? Silence. Nobody's got a fucking better idea. They've got no idea because there's no other plan. They only have one plan. They plan to come here on a bicycle. They're going to come on a bicycle. It doesn't matter how buckled the wheels get. It doesn't matter how rusty it is and if the chain falls off. They're coming on a bicycle. And this is what they're doing all of the time. They just keep doing more of the same. Just more of the same. Like, well, why don't we... Well, I think we should start pushing, you know, climate change and climate lockdowns. And I think we should push 15-minute cities. And at the same time, I think we should push lots and lots of other things. And by the way, tell everybody that they're going to have a heart attack because of the sun, of the food, of the football, of the... Yeah. And it's just like non-stop. And that's what they're doing. Just compressing a plan, a bad plan. Well, I, no, I'll take it back. It was a good plan. It was a good plan when they were in the darkness, when they were in their power. It was a fab plan. It was always going to work. That was a beautiful plan. However, we've moved into the light. And so their plan is just, I mean, it's it's been laid bare. And this is the problem. Their plan is laid bare. Nothing is hidden. Nothing's hidden anymore. And so... All of the, you know, that, that's what, I mean, they're called the occult, aren't they? The occult workers. What does that mean? It means hidden. Well, that's fucking finished now, hasn't it? That's over. Yeah, everything's been visible. Everything's been seen. And that's the problem that they've got. So everything that they do wakes more people up because it's obvious it's there. It's in plain sight. Hmm. So they're fucked, basically. But that doesn't stop them from keep doing what they're doing. You know, they, they're like, you know, my old boss used to say, just keep doing what you're doing. That's their anthem. Let's just keep doing what we're doing. Let's just do more of the same stuff. 
And every time they do, they wake more people up. So the emissaries were saying, well, what's going to happen is this. And they've talked about the waves, you know, of like politics and politicians and government is going to lose its hold. People are just going to turn away from it. The media is going to lose its hold. People are just going to turn away from it. When that happens, their power then is taken away. They only have power because people pay attention. Yeah. So that's what the emissaries were saying. You know, they're, they're, it's, go, it's going to be an, it's going to happen by osmosis. We really don't have to do that much. We have to do our bit, but it's going to happen anyway. It has to. It's part of the plan. So I said to the emissaries, so all these baddies, where will they go to? Where are they going to go to? And they said, and I think they've said this before, some of them will convert and come on our side. And I think that's happening a lot. I think that's going to happen a lot more this year. I think a lot more. But at the same time, they said, they'll just kind of just pull away. Do you know what they showed me? They showed me them all living on an island. This was kind of the image they gave it. Obviously, it's a metaphor, but like living away, living isolated away on an island. And then they also showed me that they, they were on the island making their little dirty fucking plans as usual and, and bringing through young people that they then send to infiltrate into our, our group, like to you know pretend to be goodies when they're really baddies. So as I was laughing when, I, when they showed me that. It's like, so just the same plan then. <laughs> like, let's not come up with anything new. Let's send people out to infiltrate the goodies and then turn them into the baddies. So same plan. Isn't it, it's of no surprise to me that it would be the same plan because that's what this is, this cycle that we're in. This just this cycle. It's just the same thing. It's just this game that goes on, that gets played. The emissaries did say that some of them will be punished. Some of them will be killed. Some of them will be used as a, an example, but lots of them will just disappear. Yeah, I mean, Bill Gates, you know, I, I, you know, my heart goes out, it doesn't. My heart goes out to these people who are the figureheads because they're the ones who are going to be attacked. It's not the people behind them. It's the, it's the people at the front. But have you noticed, like, as Bill Gates gets older, right, all right, he's got more boobs, right? He's, he's a moob man. He's a moob man. He's got big belly boobs, and he's the one who's actually telling us how to keep ourselves healthy. And he looks like a fat pig. But at the same time, something's happened. It's almost as if his head has been turned upside down. What do I mean by that? If you watch Bill Gates smile, he smiles downwards. He doesn't smile upwards. Like, that's a normal smile. This is Bill Gates' smile. What is that about? What, what has to happen to the, the body and, and to the mind to actually make you smile downwards? I mean, you've got to be in a bad place. He is. He's in a very bad place. But he's going to be in a worse place. So anyway, I think that's what's going to happen. They'll go off their way. There won't be many of them, but they'll still be there. They have to be there. They have to be. Yeah. There isn't any choice. And so the emissaries left me with an image of the baddies being like a crab on its back. Flailing legs and pincers going like crazy. Dangerous, but on its back. And crabs on their back don't last that long. If they can't get back up again, they don't last that long. And that's where we are. I think that this year, 2023, is the beginning of many, many, many years of wonder for mankind. It's our time. It's our time. And, and I think what we're going to see this year is, is more organization uh, for the better. More organization. I was listening to a lovely lady who was talking about the, the horoscope and the, uh, the astrology of this year. And she was talking about something that the emissaries talked about a long while ago, which was the new leaders that are going to come. Because we need leaders. There's no two ways about it. We can't just, all, you know, we need guidance. But we need leaders who love us. We need leaders who, who have our best intentions at heart. And she was talking about that, saying they're going to come through because of the, the, the alignments of the stars. It brings through these people, um, beautiful people. You know, I, 
I watched an interview with that, that politician, Andrew, Andrew, somebody who spoke out. And I listened to him. And, you know, all he talked about was helping people. And that's what he talked about. That was all he ever talked about. And to me, I mean, you know, whether he's a politician or not, I don't really care because he wouldn't be a politician in the future. But it's that kind of attitude. People who are actually dynamic and willing to go out and help at any cost. Mm. That's the kind of people that we want. Yeah. The ones who aren't interested in lying in their pockets, the ones who are interested in helping other people. So I think we're moving into a beautiful time and I'm excited. I'm really excited. I am more excited now than ever. I've just got a bloody good feeling. What about you? Anyway, that's all. I love you all. Thank you for being with me and I'll see you all later on in the week. Bye-bye.